Welcome to the charge. We're going for a drive with James from Traction EV. Uh, he's just finished this conversion uh, on an old, what year is it? Probably. This is a 63 Beetle. 63 Beetle, and it's yeah. fantastic. Uh, and it's, it's got some power, I tell you. <laughs> So here you can see um, we've got the electric motor in the place of the original um, combustion engine and it goes straight in through the standard clutch uh, into the um, original transmission so you still use the original gears. You've got the speed controller on top and you can kind of think of that as like your petrol EFI in a way. So it takes your throttle input and determines how much power from the battery to send to the motor. So everything's going through that speed controller. And that's liquid cooled, we've got some cooling fans there and radiator. And here on the side we've got the charge port. So that's your standard J1772 charge port. Up top is the two and a half kilowatt charger. Uh, that'll charge up this car in about six to eight hours. And here in the back is the DC-DC converter, so that's like your alternator in a standard car. So um, all of the, the high voltage battery um, connects into that and outputs 12 volt for all of your 12 volt accessories, headlights and stereo and wipers and things like that. Uh, the original combustion engine in the Volkswagens, uh, depending on the model, they have about 40 horsepower and uh, they were not known for being quick at all but uh, this conversion now has 70 horsepower and you can get all of that instantaneously if you want, if you want to dial it in that way. So it's a lot of fun to drive. It's, yeah, it's not slow, yeah, it's good fun. Okay, so from the outside, it's all original. You wouldn't even know that it wasn't uh, petrol powered anymore apart from the missing uh, tailpipes out the rear. These kits go in without much fuss and uh, you know, changing to the originality of the car. So it's a nice clean install. Um, the interior still looks really nice and original. Uh, the only gauge that you swap is the petrol gauge uh, for a battery gauge. So it's, it's really nicely put together, this kit. So it's got a, a lithium um, iron phosphate battery pack. Uh, it's 22 kilowatt hours, and that's good for a range of about 150 kilometers. Okay, so another great part um, with these battery packs is it's split. So there's 12 cells in front, in the front battery box, and that sits where the old gas tank was. And the other box in the rear, behind the back seats, um, is a great spot. Uh, that's normally like a cargo area in the original car. So that's utilized with another battery box here, and there's 25 cells in there. So that spreads the weight around on the chassis, keeps it a bit more balanced and it only adds another 150 kilos to the original uh, weight of the car which is well within the carrying capacity of the vehicle. So, Okay so now we're inside the car and the only thing that's changed on the dash is this battery gauge here so that fits right in the original slot where the um, fuel gauge used to go so that's a really nice feature that we didn't have to chop the dash at all. Um, the rear seats aren't in at the moment but um, this still does keep the four seating capacity of the original car. Uh, we just put a few of the electrical components under the back seat because it's unutil unutilized space under there. The original 12 volt batteries under there as well so it makes sense to put some things under there. Starting the car is really easy. You literally just turn the key and it's on. You hear a little click of a relay closing and that's it, you're done. You're, you're ready to go, you're ready to drive. Uh, the light comes on on the uh, battery gauge here and you can see the voltage of the pack. We're currently at 122, 123 volts. 
you can scroll across and see your live current draw, so um, just some of the systems now, the cooling fans and whatnot, are pulling four amps. So if you were to drive, you'd, you'd see that jump up to you know, a few hundred amps or whatever uh, it happens to go to. Um, so you can get a lot of information from that. This is also um, an, in <coughs> excuse me, an intelligent meter in, in that it has a relay in there and uh, that can enable the charger and make sure that the charger comes on and shuts off at the appropriate battery voltages as well. Being able to have uh, manual transmission with electric is amazing. You can really utilize the power of the motor to its fullest. It's awesome. What do you think the Nord 60 is on this? Um, this particular one, I've seen the exact same conversion in the States. Um, some friends of ours uh, in the States, they did a little video on YouTube and they did uh, 10 seconds. Right. And he was also cruising down the American freeway at 80 yeah. miles an hour, no problem. Really, really. <laughs> yeah. Could he be any more in the footage? Second gear is good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I've uh, I heard that he can do eight or nine seconds. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Do you think, do you think that's just on luck? I don't or the know. Or what do you think that is? I don't know. I don't know. Where are you getting your information? <laughs> maybe, maybe if you uh, dump the clutch and spun the tires a bit. I don't know. You probably squeeze a little bit more time out of it. But um, yeah. Yeah, the great thing with electric conversions is, you know, you there, there's so many options for electric motors. Um, when you convert a car on your own, you, you do have a bit of choice with how much horsepower you want. So. Um, you can double stack these motors for 140 horsepower. Uh, the next Beetle that we're going to do at Traction EV is going to use uh, another brand motor from uh, Netgain, and that's a non rare earth metal permanent magnet motor, so it's more compact, lightweight, and that motor's got 120 horsepower. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to driving that. Uh, these number 11s, is these black lines on the timer, is, are these from your other car? <laughs> there's, a, there's a single pegger here which I will not claim responsibility for, that's sacrilege. Um, but the donuts down there, yeah, those, those are mine. That's yeah. from the uh, R31 Nissan Skyline that I've converted to electric. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's insane. Um, uh, twin 11 inch DC motors. Um, I haven't had it on the dyno yet, but it'll be somewhere between, you know, five, six, seven hundred horsepower, depending on the tune and the setup. Um, so yeah, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Those, those brakes aren't for nothing. <laughs> no, it's got some big brakes on there. Yeah, they're big, yeah. Yeah, they're bigger than the wheels on the car I came in today. Yeah, full roll cage. Um, yeah, that 31's a, a serious machine. Typical Brisbane tropical weather here today. It's been hitting 40 degrees and just ridiculous humidity and now we're getting the afternoon uh, rain coming through to cool things down a bit, which is nice. Like, like rain or it could be humidity just landing. It's just know. the humidity <laughs> <laughs> precipitating out. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So Reverse this, is it to the left? Uh, yeah, you've still got the funky old uh, Volkswagen reverse, so you yeah. push the stick down yeah. to the left and back. It's like you're going into second, but you've pushed the stick down. Right. So um, that's going to be another upgrade we're going to do in the upcoming Beetle, yeah. in the blue one, the 68 Beetle. Yeah. We're going to put a um, two speed conversion, yeah. so we'll pull out a couple of gear sets change the ratios that we're going to leave in and just have a two speed right. and uh, still retain the clutch because um, the clutch is fun and uh, have a push button reverse on the dash so just um, switch the motor direction yeah. to reverse the car. These can have automatic gearboxes in, the, in them as well can't they? I think they did yeah yeah converting an automatic car to electric comes with um, a few more um, steps. Yeah. 
you have to provide hydraulic pressure for the automatic transmission to function. Right. So you need another pump, which adds complexity. It's another draw on your DC-DC converter. Yeah. Um, so it's really just a lot easier to convert a manual car. I think you could leave this in third, because you pretty much yeah. all the time. Yeah, just... second and third is really all you need. Second yeah. for around town, and yeah. third would be fine as well. It just has a bit, a bit more of a um, subtler acceleration rate, which is yeah. fine. You can find us at tractionev.com or on the Facebook page, um, facebook.com forward slash tractionev and there you'll find you know, our updated pictures and videos and you can see all the products that we have for sale for your electric conversion on the website. Um, well, there's some massive lightning bolts out here, so maybe we go seek some refuge in the shed for another couple of minutes, eh? And then uh, we'll get you out for a little spin. Right, good on That is getting a bit intimidating. <laughs> oh, oh.